Good morning, boys and girls. This is Super P, your bully stopper. And I'm thanking you all for joining me today. I got a lot to speak about, but my main purpose right now, at this minute, in this hour, is to see smiles all over your face. So before we get, we get going, can everybody give me a big smile? All right, now let's give ourselves a hand clap. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Super P, and that's P for peaceful and P for proud parent. And one of the things I am concerned about is you. I am concerned about your health, whether it's mental health, whether it's physical health, I am concerned because you are the future. Without you, there will be no us. And as a parent, I'm excited. I love to, to help kids to prosper because when Super P was little, I didn't get this support. And you know something? I was also a bully. Yeah. I was a bully. I picked on kids because they had more than I had. And that made them think that I was tough. And because I didn't have, I put on this mean face, this mean person, so that I could make people think that I was super tough and that they were nothing. And it bothered me growing up. And so I owe it to all boys and girls all across the world that I can tell them that even the bully has feelings. I was facing things in my house that I didn't like to see. I was looking at bad things in my house. I didn't have clothes. I didn't have a, a, a lot of food to eat. I was just pretty bad, in bad shape. But I am made in the highest form image. I am made in, 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 in an image of a supreme God that will make me perfect in his eyes. So this is why I became a bully stopper. Because there's kids all over the world that is getting bullied and they're getting depressed and they even sadly want to take their lives. And so us, and I mean you too, because I want everyone in here to become a bully stopper. And we're gonna take the bite out of bully crimes. Yeah, we want to make people, we want the whole government and everybody to say bullying is a crime so that we can show more love, show more affection, show more kindness, be friendly. I know it's not easy because it was not easy for Super P. I had to go through a lot to become good. And I'm here now and I am the one that's going to help change the name and we're changing the game. Our mission is to help the bully and make the bully the bully stopper. And it goes on and on and on. Let me tell you something. Every last one of you have a gift and a calling planted inside of you. It's inside of your heart. It's inside of your mind. And so in due time, you will grow up to be an inventor, to be a person that create an app, create a video game, open up a store, a supermarket, go to the moon, become a doctor, a dentist, an athlete, a lawyer, a judge, a police officer. You're born to be successful. And if you put your mind to it right now, you can do it. And we're not going to let that enemy within us or that enemy on the outside take us from uh, um, um, our gifts, steal our gifts away. Now I know some boys and girls heard of Dora and you heard of Dora had this thing, this character in Dora's, the guy called Swiper. Swiper, Swiper. See, that's what the enemy is trying to swipe you from your gift, swipe your gift away from you. But we're not gonna let it. 
and some t and the most of the times that enemy swipes tries to swipe your gift by bullying you by making you do something you don't want to do by teasing you by putting you down so every morning from this day on if you're not already doing it I want you to take every negative thought that you think of every negative thing that someone said about you and I want you to toss it in a garbage in your room if you have a garbage can in your room I want you to get up in the morning and throw it in the garbage can just take it like imaginary out of your head out of your heart and drop it in the garbage can just like this and drop it right into the garbage can it doesn't belong there and I want you to replace every negative word, every bad word, with a positive word. Or I will call the positive affirmations. I am going to be successful on this day because I'm made that way. I am going to be better today than my yesterday because I'm born again today. I am beautiful because I'm made in my parents' image and in God's. I am awesome because I was made that way. I am special because I have um, 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 been given special things inside of me that no one else has. Do you know that? Do you know we have something inside of us that no one has? It's like your fingerprint. There's only one fingerprint. You have the only fingerprint. You have the only eyes. You have a specialty about you. God has given you a special thing only to you. And so no one can take that away. No one has the power to strip that but you. So what we're not going to do is let someone come and bully you so that you give up your gift and dreams. And again, Sally, some parents reached out to me and told me about some things that happened to their kid and that their kid got so bad, so depressed that they didn't want to go on anymore. But you know what? We're here to stop that. We're here to speak for those who are being bullied all across the world. Not, to, not just in Virginia Beach. Not just in, in, in Hampton Roads. We're going to go all over the world to help someone. to show someone because as a team we can achieve more say it with me boys and girls and parents and teachers team together everyone achieves more together everyone achieves more because as a team we're stronger together we're stronger as a team there's strength in numbers so I want you to understand that you are called to do great things. Every last one of you have a specialty about you. I had to learn the hard way. I learned that I had in my mind that I was nothing. I was going to be the product of my environment. If I saw bad people every day, I thought that was good and I became a bad person. But do you know Super P had to go and, and realize that he has a specialty about him? I had to realize I had a specialty about myself. And so I embraced the good things. Every morning, even to this day, Super P listened to something positive every morning. I know we have TikTok. And I know some things you see on TikTok that can influence your mind. Some people are doing cyberbullying influencing your mind to think that you're nothing or having you do some things that are that are that are that are forbidden for a child to do i know but sometimes you got to go and find that positive thing and if you put that positive thing into your mind every day whether it's dancing positive whether it's a positive song but if you put it in your mind every day you will become great greater than what you are now you got to build yourself not only in school, and when you come to go to school, you learn, you listen to your teachers, you listen to the principal, you listen to all the leaders here, it makes you become a leader. Now how many kids with show of hands want to, want to be a leader? 
How many kids want to be a follower? Okay, well, we're going to work on you because every last one of you needs to be a leader. Now, don't get it wrong. Following great to become great is what I had to do. Sometimes you got to follow someone that are po that is positive. So in order to become a, 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 a leader, you have to become a positive follower. And you have to follow people that are good, follow people that are doing great things. You can't follow the bad guy. You can't follow the person that is negative because you will become negative. How many kids to show of hands wants to be positive? Good. And how to be positive and maintain positivity is to feed your mind like you feed your stomach breakfast, feed your mind breakfast. And what I mean by that, feed your mind good things. I'm great. I'm an overcomer. I'm, 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 I'm going to succeed today. I'm a winner. I'm tough. I'm brilliant. I could do it. I could pass this test. I'm going to study more. I love myself. I have great self-esteem, great self-confidence. I'm going to encourage myself. I'm beautiful. Inside and outside. I'm caring. I'm amazing. I'm wonderful. I'm terrific. I'm awesome. I'm outstanding. And if you feed your mind positive words every day, you will believe it in your mind and it will come to life. I told my daughter, which by the way, her name is Super J. She's the reason why I do Bully Stoppers. Because when she was eight years old, she made a video I seen where she was talking about bullying. And we were talking about how sad it is that kids want to grow up to take their life because they're being bullied. And from that day, with tears in her eyes, I said to myself, no way. Take a look at this video. Um, when people who are getting bullied, let, let you love you, not let the haters, like, just hate on you, just do what you want to do. And it's not on the basic, um, hate, it's just on you. You can love yourself, you can do anything, but just know you can love yourself. Don't let the haters really tell you what to do, because it's your... It's your life. So, yeah. Um, can I tell you something, y'all? My dad wrote this play, My Life Matters, and I'm so proud of him. La last, I mean, like, not a long, not, not a long time ago, but, like, you know, um, I was really proud of him. I was crying because he really, he's...
All right. Now, in that video, when I found this video, well, my wife did, and she gave me the video. It brought tears of joy to my eyes. And right at that point, I said, I have to do more. Because if my eight-year-old was concerned about it, I need to be concerned about it. So boys and girls, this is why I do Bully Stoppers. There's names I can name right now that I will for all, always remember. And I will carry these individuals in my heart. In my heart. Mackenzie Adams, nine years old, from Alabama. Seven Bridges, 10 years old. Megan Grossman, Rockaway Township, New Jersey, 14 years old. These children are the victims of bully side. They were bullied, they gave up, and I will forever keep their name in my heart. And this is why I do Bully Stop. Because it's important that we help our children now. We don't need to let anyone take you from your purpose. You're born to be successful. You're born to be brilliant. You're born to be awesome. You're gonna be something in life. And my job, and the parents' job, and the teacher's job, is to start now with encouraging you to continue to do great things and to believe in yourself. I keep every last kid that has been bullied, that has been depressed, and that wanted to give up in my heart. And I fight for them like a crime stopper. We're going to take a bite out of bullying. And I need your help, boys and girls. I need your help, teachers. That we don't just let it go over our heads. Most schools all across the world have a zero bully tolerance. I walk through the school, it says no bully zone. And I know the, the teachers can only do but so much. That's why it's important for you as the students to help the teachers. There's a thing you young folks has, and I never could imagine what it means. It's the no snitch clause that you guys grow up with. The no snitching rule. I'm not a snitch. Or if someone pushes you down and, and call you names, I'm not going to run to the teacher and tell them because that's being a snitch. But let me tell you something. Your life is more important than sticking to a no snitching clause or, or code. Your life is very important than some code that you don't know who made the code up. If someone is teasing you, if someone is bullying you, it's okay to go to the guidance counselor. It's okay to go to your parent. It's okay to go to your brother and sister, your principal, of course, your teacher, and tell someone. And sometimes, or most of the times, I always teach my daughter, Super J, kill them with kindness. Because sometimes that person that is bullying you don't have nice clothes like you. Don't have a mother and father in the house. Don't have the love that you have in your home. Don't have things that that you have good grades or you know they are going through something maybe they've seen ugly things in their house that that they're just mad at that they're seeking love they're seeking affection and maybe they don't get it so sometimes you kill them with kindness someone's bullying you it's okay to say hey I know it's a tough day you having a tough day you know um, let me give you a high five and they'll look at you like you're crazy. <laughs> Kill them with kindness, and they'll look at you like you're crazy. Hey, you need a hug? And then, I know I am, but what are you? <laughs> you 
You said I'm ugly, but I know I am, but what are you? And sometimes making jokes humor the situation. I found comfort in that. Because before I became a bully, I was also bullied. I was also teased and picked on. Because I told you I was poor. I didn't have the, the latest shoes. I didn't have great clothes, nice hair. You know, we, I grew up poor and people teased me. So I had to make fun of it, make a joke out of the situation. That's why it was easier for me to become the bully versus getting bullied. And I don't want you guys to do what I have done. I want you guys to do better, do great things. I'm telling you, you're more than a conqueror, which means that you're more than what anybody else will say about you. If they say that you're not gonna mount up to nothing, huh? Ah, brush it off. If they saying ugly things about you, ah, brush it off. You got this. You, you doing this. You about to win. You about to turn it up. You about to get lit. Or whatever the things and whatever the words you guys are saying. You doing this. You about to win. You about to blow up. It's your winning season, sir. Ma'am. You got this. Ain't nothing and no one gonna do tell you anything. You gonna be successful. You have to, because it's made that way. God has already made you to be ready or to be a winner. It is already written in your book of life that you will be successful, that you will be, be a, and a person that will accomplish things. Let me share something with you, boys and girls. There's a thief that comes to try to take your gift away. There's a thief that is sitting on the side, ready to take from you. And it's all in an imaginary spirit. It's all in a, in a thought that if we can outthink you or make you think that you're nothing and that you're not gonna mount up to anything, you will start believing it. It's a spirit, and I would like to call the spirit a thief or swiper. So just think of swiper, the thief, sitting on the side or walk, walking through your neighborhood looking to get into a nice car, right? So the swiper, the thief, he's walking through the neighborhood and he sees a car with flat tire, with rust, no radio inside, real dirty windows, and then he sees a nice car, a Ferrari, or Tesla on the side. So I want you to think of this. I want you to think of you as the, the Ferrari and some other kid or some other dude as the, the, the rusty car. And Swiper the Thief needs to get in a, in a car. Which car do you think that Swiper is gonna wanna break into? I know this is, this is not the normal analogy for kids. I'm not promoting Vef or anything like that, but this is Swiper, the imaginary thought that is after your specialty, that is after your gift. So which car do y'all think that Swipers want to get inside? Exactly, the Ferrari. You know why? Anyone out there know why? Right, because the, the, the Ferrari, fast, it's beautiful, it's, it's expensive. And that rusty old car is already have no hope. 
That's what Swiper the Thief is after, your gift. Because you're already beautiful. You already have a great promise. You have already known to be successful. And if Swiper the Thief can talk you out of being successful now as a child, you won't grow up to create that app to help change the world, to stop violence, to stop gun violence, to stop school violence, to become a president, to become the governor, the mayor, the council person. Because there's a specialty inside of y'all right now that you don't know now, but unfortunately, and I say this unfortunately, that Swiper the Thief, the imaginary thought, gets a sneak preview of your gift and your calling. I don't know why God allowed him to get access to this, but that's the part of life. That's a part of growing. And as parents and as teachers, it's our job to protect your gift, but to protect your calling. That's why school is important. That's why learning new things is important. That's why it's important not to interrupt the class because there's someone that is in that class that is needing this to change the world and we can't bully the situation. Sometimes as nice, pe nice as we are, we can be bullies because we can don't like, we can dislike something and be mean at explaining the mean to the person that, that may be wanting to learn that day. This is why Super J is a part of the um, Bully Stoppers team. This is why her, Wizkid, and Sugar Brown, they are the animated part of the Bully Stoppers. I want you to do me a favor, take a look at the animated Bully Stoppers featuring Super J, Wizkid, and Sugar Brown. Take a look. Hey Wizkid, what's up with the newspaper? Yeah, you're always making stuff. It's a device that helped us find kids that are being bullied. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Bullying is getting really bad. We have to do something. Oh, Wizkid, it's really, really sad that people want to take their life because of bullying. I know, Super J, it's really bad. Yeah, and we have to help the bullies too. Hey guys, newspaper just told me. There's a little girl getting bullied at her dance school. Yeah, Super J, she needs our help. Newspaper gave us the location. Let's go, guys. Nobody gets bullied on my watch. It's time for the bully stoppers. Ha, ha, ha. Why even here? You can't dance. You need to leave. Hey, stop! This is a no bully zone. Nobody gets bullied on our watch. Don't tease her, she has feelings too. You should help her get better in dancing. Don't tease her. Yeah, it's okay. If you keep practicing, you'll get better. She's trying. You're right, Super J. My bad. Take this necklace. You're now a bully stopper. Yeah, Super J, you even help the bully. That's what I do, cause nobody gets bullied on my watch. Job well done. Thanks to newspaper, we found another kid getting bullied. I think I can be a dancer. Please, Wiz Kid, don't get your day job. All right. Yeah, just fix stuff. So I can be a dancer. Watch. Together, we can achieve more. Together, everyone achieves more. That's a team. So as a bully stopper, it is your responsibility to speak up against someone who's being bullied. And, and forget about the no snitch code that you guys can have. Because Bully, uh, a super P, will make sure that you are covered there. Anybody says anything to you, you come get me. <laughs> and I will fly across the world, on an airplane that is, to make sure that you're all right. Because that's my job. My job as a bully stopper, my job as a proud parent, 
it is to make sure that you guys are good to go. That's it. My job is to make sure I protect you no matter where you are, no matter where you go. Because nobody gets bullied on our watch. Nobody's going to get bullied. Well, let, let me just say this. It's not as if we're going to stop someone from bullying everywhere. But at least if we can show you how to speak good over yourself, how to protect yourself from someone that's trying to bully you, how to protect you, how to speak positive things inside of you, that's the start. And also sometimes to, to begin to show the bully some love. To show the bully that they can become something. To show the bully you care about them. And as tough as it may seem to be, to do, the bully needs more love. And not to say more love than you, but the bully needs love. Because that's why they sometimes act out. Because they're lacking the love in the house. They're lacking the love somewhere. And that's why it's important that we help the bully. And again, the motto here is change the name, you change the game. We change the name of the bully and we make the bully the bully stopper. This is why certain people are selected in before our time to spread word, to spread the good gospel of the word. Because sometimes it's gonna take a former bad guy <laughs> to convince folks to do good. That sounds silly, but that's normally how that is. The former bad guy are the best voice that can tell you what not to do. And that's me, Super P. And that's P for peaceful, because everything has to be in peace. Everything has to be in love. Everything has to be with kindness and proud parents. The parents, we got to uh, 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 step up. The parents has to take ownership. The parents have to not just send the kids off to a, 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 a young teacher, a teacher younger than you to, to expect that teacher to raise your kid. The teachers has a tough job. I don't know if any of you think and believe it, but the teacher has a tough job. It's 13, 14 to 20 kids in a room, students to a room, and it's one teacher and maybe an aide. That's a tough job. When we, when, when Super J comes home, it's just her. And my 20 year old daughter, but she's in college, but it's just her. And it's two to one. Mom and dad and Super J. But the teacher has 13 to one. And so we got to respect the teacher. We got to know that the teacher's job is not easy. And we got to understand that that teacher has a big task. And so that's why bully stop is more important. That you will become to her eyes, his eyes. You become her ears. And that snitch code, we're going to stop that today. Because the no snitch code has cost people their lives. And you don't want that to happen. If Mackenzie Adams had someone that can speak up for her when it was happening, she'll be on stage with me today. If Seven Bridges had someone to speak up to him for him when he was medically because he had a medical condition, he'll be on this stage with me today. If Megan Good Grossman, a wonderful cheerleader, didn't have someone to speak up for her, to say that she could chair, she's really pretty, She'll be here on the stage with me today. Because that no snitch clause has caused kids to not be here today because of bullying. And it is our job to become bully stoppers. To take a bite out of bullying. You wanna help me? We're gonna change the world. And our mission is to show the bully some love and affection. Moving forward, every morning, you say something good to yourself. And you take that negative energy, and you drop it in the wastebasket, walking out your door. Every morning when you get up, if you're eating your breakfast, your cereal, whatever it is you're eating, 
Eat something in the mind saying, today I'm going to be awesome. Today I'm going to be awesome. Say it 10 times. Just keep saying it. Today I'm going to be awesome. You'll put that in your mind that you're going to be awesome today. You will become awesome today. I do it. And I'm 50 something. And every morning I get up and say, I'm more than a conqueror. I'm going to be great. I'm going to be, be, be amazing today. I'm going to do something great today. And let me also tell you something, boys and girls, and parents, and teachers, and everyone. A random act of kindness goes a long way. Whether it's opening a door for someone. If you do that, you'll see the spirit above will start blessing you. The goal is to reach my age and beyond. The goal is to be better and successful than your own parents. That's the goal. And our job is to see that we protect your gift and your calling and your purpose. And those are words I want you to go and look them up. A gift, if someone gave you a nice gift and it's a beautiful gift, wouldn't you want it to be protected? Do you see when you wrap something up, you wrap the present up, is a wonderful, pretty gift, and you want to make sure that gift stays pretty before you open it? So that's what the parents and that's what the teachers are doing. We're protecting your gift, your present, and inside your present is a nice gift, a nice purpose, a nice calling, meaning that someone, meaning that the superior being, the superior God of the universe has given you a calling, meaning that you are called to do great things in life. And I want you to remember this, okay? So moving forward, every last one of you boys and girls are now officially bully stoppers because you lent me your ears for 30 minutes. You've given me your time for 45 minutes to an hour. And I appreciate that because now you all are bully stoppers. And I want you to say this with me before we leave. I'm gonna say it first. Nobody gets bullied on our watch. At the count of three, say it with me. One, two, three. Because nobody gets bullied on our watch. Thank you, I love you to life, and there's nothing you can do about it but love me back. And in the process of loving me back, take a selfie and say to yourself, my life matters. Say it. My life matters. Say it, my life matters. God bless.